Hey there Pokemon fans, it is me Ovi and welcome back. It is Saturday so that means it's time for a new video. After doing a Zelda Theory last week, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that supported me on that. It's actually doing pretty damn well. So, this time we're going back to Pokemon and we're going to take a look at 10 creepy Pokedex entries from Generation 1. So, sit back, enjoy and let's get this show on the road. Alright, so we're gonna get started with Omastar. According to the Pokedex, apparently it cracked Shelter's shell with its sharp fangs and sucked out the insides. Wow, that is pretty creepy. Even more so because most likely Shelter was alive while all this was happening. Wow, that is pretty damn dark. The next entry is rather sad but creepy at the same time because Game Freak decided to put such a descriptive message inside the Pokedex and I'm referring to Jigglypuff. According to the Pokedex, when this Pokemon sings, it never pauses to breathe. If it's in a battle against an opponent that does not fall asleep easily, Jigglypuff cannot breathe, endangering its life. Alright, so the next one seems kinda obvious, I mean Golbutt is a freaking vampire. But what's creepy about it is that many of the Pokedex entries talk about him attacking people as well. Quote, Golbat bites down on a prey with its four fangs and it drinks the victim's blood. It becomes active on inky dark moonless nights, flying around to attack people and Pokemon. So yeah, we are also in the menu. Now, what can be wrong with Poliwag? It's just a cute little tadpole. But listen to this. Its slick black skin is thin and damp. A part of its internal organs can be seen through the skin as a spiral pattern. Yeah, what you see right there? That's his freaking intestines. That is creepy. Now, Scyther looks pretty damn deadly and for a good reason. According to the Pokedex, it tears and shreds prey with its wickedly sharp side. It very rarely spread its wings to fly. Now, I don't even want to imagine what that would look like, but actually a similar Pokemon Kabutops takes it to the next level. According to the Pokedex, its sleek shape is perfect for swimming. It slashes prey with its claws and drains the body fluids. Wow. Oh man, that is damn creepy. So, Hunter is pretty obvious because, well, he's a ghost. According to the Pokedex, by licking, it saps the victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop onto the victim's demise. Oh my god, I think that would be a pretty sad way to go. Alright, so the next one is creepy and nasty at the same time, and I'm referring to Drowsy. According to the Pokedex, if your nose becomes itchy while you're sleeping, it is a sure sign that one of these Pokemon is standing above your pillow and trying to eat your dreams through your nostrils. Oh my god, that's nasty. Get off my nose, man. The next one is also disgusting because Lickitung is known for having a lot of sticky saliva, and according to the Pokedex, Whenever it sees something unfamiliar, it always licks the object because it memorizes things by texture and taste. It is somewhat put off by sour things. I would never like to meet this guy. And the very last one that I have for you guys is Seedra. According to the Pokedex, Seedra generates whirlpools by spinning its body. The whirlpools are strong enough to swallow even fishing boats. This Pokemon weakens prey with these currents, then swallows it whole. Okay, so what's creepy about this is the fact that his mouth is really small. So I don't even want to imagine what it would look like when it's trying to eat something that's actually a bit bigger than that. Hmm. Reminds me of snakes. Well, there you have it guys. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you couldn't understand me well today, I do apologize. It's just that I'm a little bit sick. But, you know, the show must go on. I want to say thank you for everybody that wished me happy birthday today because yes, it is my birthday and I'm pretty damn old. But anyway, if you were looking for a Pokemon theory, don't worry, I actually got you covered. You can head over to the Team Eclipse channel where I cover a theory today regarding the end of Pokemon. I know you're going to like it. So this is Obi saying peace out until the next Pokemon video. Mm -hmm.